Hi, I'm Brian Baker, chaplain for the Heart Institute at Children's National Hospital. February is American Heart Month, and the week of February 7th through the 14th is Congenital Heart Defect Awareness Week. A congenital heart defect is an abnormality of the heart that's present at birth. About one out of every hundred people is born with a congenital heart defect. Each year, our staff celebrates CHD Awareness Week with a variety of activities, crafts, games, contests, and food. In the CICU, uh, that's the cardiac ICU, and the heart and kidney unit, we try to make it fun to raise awareness for CHD Week. Our blood donor center also hosts blood drives during this time. Don't worry, if you missed a blood drive, you can always schedule an appointment online or stop by the blood donor center and they'll get you started. The Heart Institute performs more than 600 heart surgeries a year. We begin meeting with uh, many parents prenatally and often care for these patients throughout their lives, including adult patients with congenital heart defects. We literally see patients from around the world and treat everything from common uh, conditions to rare abnormalities and even heart transplants. To do all of that, you don't just need top-notch pediatric cardiologists and cardiovascular surgeons. We are talking about over 40 subspecialties working together and all to support all the support staff that goes with them. I can't begin to name everyone involved, but we can certainly uh, express our appreciation to all of you for your contributions to our patients' lives. Our staff is absolutely amazing, but they can't take all the credit. We have some phenomenal volunteers as well. I'd especially like to thank the uh, Mended Little Hearts of Washington, D.C. that provide peer support and education for our patients uh, with congenital heart defects and their families. But our greatest heart heroes are our patients and their families that support them through their journeys. We are talking about some pretty incredible, brave kids that sometimes face multiple heart surgeries each time doing the hard work to rehabilitate and recover to get back out there and live their lives. Often I hear patients and families refer to our team as an extension of their family. I think that's one of the reasons I enjoy providing spiritual care in this setting. I get to be a part of a team helping children and families to live healthier and fuller lives and watch them grow into the people they will become. Our team goes the extra mile to make sure their hospital stays are as comfortable as possible. Whether it's holding someone's hand, reading the bedtime story, a themed birthday party, or helping a patient to open up a nail salon in their room, our team makes it happen. Whether you are a patient, family, or staff, we all face, face unique challenges, stresses, and anxieties along the way. This Heart Month, we should all set aside some time to take our own spiritual pulse. What gives you life? What drains you? What helps you cope? What refreshes you? What will it take to rekindle your soul? Then I challenge you to make it so. Blessings on the journey. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell for new content notifications. Share it with your family and friends. And as always, please share your questions and comments with us as well. By helping support us, you are helping us to build bridges to spiritual support, not just in our hospital community, but in the world beyond. Thanks for your help as we reach out to those around us.